you'll see that he's more and more excited. Good, down. And that's where I want to talk to you a little bit about the difference between food rewards and toy rewards. Food rewards shape the behavior, build the technique, show the dog exactly what we want. We can lure him into the behavior. That's not really something we can do with toys as much because toys end up bringing that drive so high on the dog that the dog acts stupid. So once the dog knows the behavior, we've shaped the behavior, we've molded the behaviors by using our reward, our food reward, then we're gonna get into toys because we're gonna speed it up and we're gonna be able to release the dog. In other words, if I tell the dog to sit, he can't really, or I should say I can't really pay him with a toy on a sit because he wants to get up and play with it. So that's where we start marking the release and teaching the dog on the release exactly what we wanted as opposed to what we want. So out. So if I tell him, sit, yes. He jumps up, he gets his toy, and we start a toy play session, right? Same thing here, good, down, out. Good, good boy. My bad, he got the toy, so he gets a play session. Because I made the mistake, I'm not gonna get mad at him for that. Good boy, good. Out. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Yep. Come on. Good. Down. No. Down. Yeah. Good. Good. Yep. Down. No. So you see here he's making a mistake and it's actually a really good way to show you this because he's going into a sit. He doesn't get the reward when he does the wrong behavior. So if I said down and he sits, it's not the right technique. So when he does it correctly, shouldn't I reward him at that point? And the answer is no, because he did it wrong the first time. You're only gonna reward your dog for doing the technique correctly the first time. If he does it wrong the first time and right the second time, we have a do-over and we teach him, let's try it again. And from there, we'll teach our dog that he gets rewarded for doing it right the first time. Remember, you never wanna repeat a command a second time. So, yep, yeah, good boy, come, good, down, yes. And that's how he's gonna learn that doing the technique correctly the first time is what brings him reward. Not sit and then he lays down and I say, well, that's close enough and I pay him anyway. It's not close enough if it's not right. If it's not perfect, it's not right. Good boy, come on, good boy. So let's do it one more time. I'm actually glad you got to see that because that's not something I've seen him do. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy, good, down, out. And if I say out on the toy, I just say it one time. We'll address that in another video, how to get your dog to out a toy. So, good boy. Stay. Good. Down. Good. Sit. Good. So this is where I'm holding the behavior. Sit. Good sit. Good sit. Down. Good down. Good down. I'm building duration into the technique. Sit. Yeah. Good boy. But when I teach these techniques in the beginning, I want to reward them right away. So for example, good, out, good, sit, jump, good boy, good, out, good, jump, good, Chick. good, sit, good, yes. So remember the sit, good, holds the sit, yes, releases the sit, good boy, good, down, out, good boy. And with this technique, you can teach your dog every exercise from doing this to walking backwards to protection, uh, detection, or anything else you might want. Good boy, Goof. Yep. Good boy. And remember, you hear, you want your dog to engage with you and play with you and jump up on you and play tug. Because this is how he has fun and this is how I reward him for doing something that I wanted him to do. Good boy.